Hey all Swamper here. Uh, this is a video response uh, to same OG uh, regarding his uh, his proposed DRD method uh, describe roll describe. Uh, first of all, uh, Sam, same old uh, props to you. You had to have an, an excellent mind for for analyzing uh, uh, the the method in a way I I'd never even uh, considered, and I think you you boil it down very very well. Um, I wholeheartedly agree with you that this is a this is a great method to go. Um, one way to think of it is: imagine reading a scene in the Lord of the Rings, like where the the party is in the caves of Moria fighting the the cave troll. And can you imagine how boring the narration would be if it was just like Frodo misses the troll, uh, Gimli hits the troll, Pippin moves away from the troll. Like, that would just, it just crushes all the story. It takes all the fun out. So, yeah, I do think it's necessary. You're also right, in current RPG books, um, they do tend to put, I guess in a way, the minimum uh, rules only they need. They, uh, they're, here's all the mechanics you need, here's how you create a character, here's your, all your options, races, blah, 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 blah. And there's very little... Uh, very little given to to the the fun part, right? The the describing the action and and all the description and so forth. Um, I I think it um I think it's incumbent upon veteran players, or experienced players, to 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 teach the other players at the table how to do this. Um, as Sean Driscoll uh, correctly said in in his video. Uh, we're not here to play a dice game. If you're, if you just want to play a dice game, go play Yahtzee. You know, we're we're playing a role playing game. Let's focus on the role playing and not the, not the numbers you get when you make an attack. Um, now, is it right or wrong? Well, I don't know. What's right is what the group likes. If you're a group of players who, are simply enjoy the mechanics and. You know, maybe some might feel the game is unnecessarily slowed down by all the all the descriptions that are done. Some might feel it's excessive and it uh, it leads to fewer things getting done. The group making less progress. If that's the way you feel, I mean, it's I think it's wrong for anyone to say that's the wrong way to play. So all you can really say is, what is the right way to play? For this group, you know, how do you, how does the peop, how do the people at the table want to play? Um, you mentioned uh, other games that have rules where they reward experience points for for role playing and, and acting in character and things like that. Uh, I don't know if that's necessary. I mean, maybe maybe for some players it's necessary. Uh, and when I'm a player, I don't do those descriptions because I'm hoping to get some sort of mechanical reward out of it. I do it because it's fun, because it makes the game more enjoyable for me and, and hopefully more enjoyable for for everyone else at the table. Um, you you also uh, asked, um, is it enough that it's a suggestion or, or does it be a rule? Well... There's rule books in the games now, in, in every role-playing game I play, mechanical rules that I ignore. There are house rules I add in just because I think they make the game more fun. Um, so making it a rule that you have to role-play doesn't really make it any more mandatory because the rule can be accepted and used by the group or not accepted. It all depends on how they want to play. Uh, the last thing I'll say is... Um, if you have players at your table that are not using this system and you want them to use their system, have a little patience with them and, you know, introduce them to this, uh, this DRD method, as you accurately labeled it, and hopefully they'll come around. I can say for a fact that uh, one of the players at my table, uh, he had played uh, RPGs for many years, and he was all strictly a mechanics guy. And he's definitely come around to seeing how much more enjoyable it is to do it this way. So, so give people a chance, let them get their feet, and gradually over time, you know, like uh, El Garrick said, Anthony Holmes, he said, 
practice makes you better, right? And give people a time to, to get used to this methodology and and they'll bring their game up. I uh, hope that answers everything you uh, you wanted to know and uh, thanks for your video.